Hello, everybody. Mary me. This is High Priestess Jamila, and I wanted to come on here real quick or record a video, actually, to show you guys an effective, the best effective way to smudge your house. OK, this is going to be for students, clients, and uh, I would like for you guys to follow these directions as closely as possible. Now, first of all, especially if you are a student, but even if you are a client, uh, what I'm going to suggest is not just sage, okay? I'm going to suggest if you use sage, you'll want to use the red sage, which actually has dragon's blood on it because dragon's blood is stronger than sage. They actually sell it. You can get it in a six pack. Uh, I apologize for the mess right here. <laughs> You can get it as a six pack um, and it's not that expensive. But anyway, um, this is one of my cauldrons. This is uh, one of my little tiny cauldrons. Um, and what I like about this is that the handle stays cool. OK, so you'll want to put a charcoal disc in there. OK, and the way that you want to sage is you want to um go into all of the corners of the wall okay and so i'm going to show you guys a quick way of saging please follow the directions um to the t because um you know it's important and you want to keep your house clear you know especially if somebody's throwing something at you neighbors enemies you know whoever okay so the herbs of the day that I'm going to be using for saging, and I've already saged like my kitchen, my back room, my altar room, um, the kitchen, the bathroom. Um, I'm going to be using basil. I'm also going to be using pennyroyal and vervain. Okay, vertiver is really good as well. Okay, so what you do is you just take you you light up your charcoal disc i've got one lit in there that's lit pretty well um and so i'm going to add just my herbs to it um it's easier if you have them in a bottle i actually have um a bottle of banishing herbs back there but it doesn't have these particular herbs in it okay so i'm just gonna start by Putting that on there and I'm going to uh, start over um, in this corner of the room. I took my tapestry down to clean it and I'm too short to put it back up, guys, <laughs> in case you guys are wondering. I cleaned the tapestry and the curtains. I just couldn't hang the tapestry back up. So you're going to hold this and make sure that you get in the corners. OK, and you're going to say any and all negative entities bad spirits uh demons um uh, you know uh in enemy ancestors are banished from this home in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit or you can say in the name of jesus or uh whatever deities that you work with okay and you just want to go to each corner and just banish it to hell <laughs> Uh, you know, banish it to hell. So you go in each corner, get in the corners. Okay. The corners is typically where negative spirits hang out. Now, typically I will have my bell going. Um, and I am going to do that, but this is fine. Just like this, because I'm holding the camera at the moment, going each corner and any and all negative entities, bad spirits, hexes, curses demons are banished to hell in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit okay okay so what you are going to de do now is and like i said please excuse the mess i've been doing work in here um what you're gonna do now is sit the cauldron in the middle of the room and you're going to say smoke of air and fire of earth, cleanse and bless. Hold on. 
Smoke of air and fire of earth, cleanse and bless this home and hearth. Drive away all harm and fear, and only good may enter here. And if spirits threaten us in this place, fight fire by fire and water by water. Banish their souls into nothingness and remove their powers until the last trace. Let these evil beings flee through time and through space. And you want to go through each room, basically let that smoke finish because what it's going to do is it is going to cover the whole room. After you've done the corners, it's going to cover the whole room once you put it in the center of the room, okay? Um, and so you want to ask your ancestors, your spirit guides, your deities. I typically will call to St. Michael, for protection, for, you know, and then I'll call to St. Raphael for healing because uh, sometimes people will send in tranquil spirits. Now, keep in mind, it can take months and months or even sometimes years for uh, a person that wants to do baneful magic against you to actually conjure up a spirit. It depends on how experienced they are. And so you don't want to send it back to them. Once you're doing at this stage, you want to send it to hell. Now, if you have steps, okay, and you have like, excuse me, kitty. What are you doing, kitty? Don't you touch that. That's hot. Don't be doing that, kitty. Okay, so my leading up to the upstairs, I have this huge thing with the steps, okay? And so the way that you're going to do this, and this is why it's very effective to have some kind of cauldron, um, and I just vacuumed. I need to get my carpets clean, y'all. Please excuse me. Um, you want to put it in the middle of the steps. And that's why it's important to have actually a little cauldron like this. That's why it's important to have a little cauldron like this because it, it makes it a lot more effective. Uh, but if you don't, you can just stand there with your uh, sage stick with dragon's blood. Yeah, I really need to get my steps cleaned. <laughs> so please forgive me, y'all. Okay, they are vacuumed, though. They're freshly vacuumed. So you can be very specific if you want. But what you're going to find, let's put that on that one instead. What you're going to find is that if you have an area like this, it's going to fill up that entire area with the smoke. Okay, and you can't really see it, but it's it's going up there. See that? Smoke of air and fire of earth. Cleanse and bless this home and hearth. Drive away all harm and fear and only good may enter here. And if spirits threaten us in this place, fight fire by fire and water by water. Banish their souls into nothingness and remove their powers until the last trace. Let these evil beings flee through time and through space. And you want to ask Whoever your deities are, I am going to call to Jesus Christ to say to remove it, banish it to hell, lock it away. Don't let it be reconjured again. Um, <clears throat> you want to do that in each room. In each room, go corner to corner and then go to the center of the room and state your incantation. So I'm going to show you guys again in the bathroom. I'm going to let that finish because it's going to fill up this whole hallway, but I'm still going to go in the corners when I get upstairs. Um, a good house smudging is going to take you at least 30 minutes or sometimes an hour. Depending on the size of your house, it can take longer. Now, this is the reason why you shouldn't send like when you're saging, especially light. And even with some of my return to senders, I don't send it back to that person. I just write on there that I send it to hell and because, you know, especially if it's some crazy stuff that's been going on for long term. OK, seriously, because honestly, I don't like spiritual warfare, um, but it depends on what the situation is, because you might want somebody to get something back because you may be doing something different. Um, you can also be very specific. You can say any and all spirits that are, you know, uh, you know, maybe causing sickness, maybe causing insomnia, maybe causing, um, you know, money not to come in, any poverty demons, any, uh, you know, any sickness demons, any energy harvesting demons or attachments or banished from this house. 
Or, for example, if there may be a spirit that's there to keep your, you know, um, child away or to keep your, you know, uh, husband away. OK, you can do that. You can banish that that spirit, too. OK, so um, I'm just going to mosey up here. Okay, so I am in my bathroom. I'm going to instruct you guys one more time. You want to take your herbs. I like to use two or three different kinds um, at once. Basil is good. Okay, get up in the corners. Any and all negative entities and bad spirits, you are banished from this house. And in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I banish you to hell okay get in all the corners i have an old house you guys i like old houses though okay get in all of the corners and oh this cat is just following me around isn't she okay and then you want to uh, put it in the center of the room. Center it as, as good as possible. Smoke of air and fire of earth. Cleanse and bless this home and hearth. Drive away all harm and fear. And only good may enter here. And if spirits threaten us in this place, fight fire by fire and water by water. Banish their souls into nothingness and remove their powers until the last trace. Let these evil beings flee through time and through space. And just a little tip in the bathrooms, go ahead and open up the cabinets. Uh, typically in the kitchen, unless you feel intuitively that you need to do that or if you're instructed to do that. Uh, for me, it's really not that bad. I just had to do some cleansing after some work that I did. So you can see that the smoke will go under the sink as well. Okay. Um, I hope that this helped you guys and, um, oh, it just started raining. Nice. I hope the lights doesn't go out. <laughs> anyway, have a happy, happy day today. Um, and just make sure that you call in your ancestors and your protective spirits. I always call to St. Michael. I always call to St. Raphael. Um, and then also as well as other deities, okay, uh, that I work with, okay? So anyway, I will see you guys later. I hope that this helped. And of course, if you are a student or a client, you guys know that I'm always one text message away or one phone call away, okay? And if you guys need me for any um, advice, you can reach me. Uh, all of my information is below in the video description box. And... I was going to finish this out with this beautiful, uh, what was that, Van Gogh? <laughs> I love this shower curtain. Okay. Okay. I love this. It's, it's really nice. I thought it was cute. Okay. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Blessed be.